Hey guys, you know I love everything that has to do with the beach. I've been able to do a lot of things like snorkeling, fishing, and surfing, but the one thing I've never done is scuba dive. So when the Salt Life team called asking me to get scuba certified so I could go on a diving trip to Honduras, I jumped at the chance. So this week I want you to come along with me as I head down to Panama City Beach to learn how to scuba dive. We met up with my instructor for the week, Mike Gomez, from the Panama City Dive Center, where he explained what exactly would be happening during the week. Well, the classes start off first academically. We go over all the, the physics, the physiology, the equipment and things so that you get hands on. Then from there we go into a, a confined water. Here we use a pool. Hampton Inn lets us use our, their pool. And then once you master all the skills and you're comfortable with it, that's the key word, comfortable with them all and can do them proficiently, then we'll go out to open water. And again, you repeat and demonstrate the skills to me. And this time, instead of being in six or eight feet, you are like in 30 feet of water. After being in the classroom all day, I rewarded myself by running to the beach to catch the gorgeous sunset. That's what we like to call high tide. I'm learning that in my scuba class. Oh, you know all the time. I know. How was your scuba class? It was good. Mike Gummins is a really good teacher. He helps you really put the concepts together so you can know it and understand it, which makes you feel more confident. I think I might be the top student in the class. You're the only one? So <laughs> Do you remember what scuba means? Uh, I, I want you to tell me. Uh, you know, oh. I want to make sure you remember. It's that, that self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Woot! Woo! Hey. Scuba! After two days in the classroom, it was time to head to the pool and put my knowledge to the test. Today, she's going to be learning how to breathe through the regulator, learning how to uh, get the water out of the mask if water goes in the mask. And the trick for getting the suit on is slide your foot in the bag and then slide the suit on. Just like butter. You did it. I did it. And then just kneel on the bottom and get used to breathing. Now remember, it's going to feel weird at first. Okay? Your little voice going, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's what we talked about before. Just do it a few times, and then after a while, the voice goes, oh, this is weird. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I think I feel good. Good. I think the weirdest part is because the air cuts off when you aren't actually sucking in, and you can feel that, and so your mind is like, there's no air, but there is when you breathe it. I think that's what you have to kind of do. Probably the skill that gives people the most apprehension is mask clearing. And mask clearing is nothing more than, than getting the water out of the mask. And it's because people get uncomfortable with water around their face since they're using the mask for like a security blanket. But once you figure it out, and again, there are little tricks that you have to learn. And so first you have to get comfortable with the water around your face. Once you've got that, then it's just a matter of breathing out your nose a steady stream, not blowing like you're blowing into a tissue. And then once it clear, once you get to where it starts to clear, it, and once it clicks, it just, it, from then on, you never make a mistake again. You did it in the pool like that a hundred times. Once it clicked, every time you got all the water out without even flinching. It's only been a few days and I've already learned so much. I wonder if I'm ready to graduate from the pool to the actual ocean. I guess we'll see.